Princess Eugenie TMS father-in-law, George Brooks Bank, passed away just days before his grandson TMS christening, it has emerged. George, 72, died last week having been unwell for some time, according to a royal source. He had been unwell with COVID-19 last year, spending five weeks on a ventilator. A royal source told Mail Online that he was not the same after that, but it had been wonderful that he was still alive to meet his youngest grandson. A royal source told Mail Online that he was not the same after that, but it had been wonderful that he was still alive to meet his youngest grandson. Eugenie and her husband Jack Brooks Bank TMS first child, August, was born in February. He was christened in a joint ceremony with Zara and Mike Tyndall TMS son, Lucas, at the All Saints Chapel in Windsor Great Park this weekend. The Queen was among the guests in attendance. George and his wife Nicola, 68, had watched on proudly in 2018 as their son married Eugenie at St. George TMS Chapel, Windsor. The wedding was broadcast live on ITV, a spectacular ceremony that captured the imaginations of thousands of adoring royal fans. Taking place in the very same spot where Prince Harry and Meghan Markle had tied the knots months earlier, the weddings had a notable difference. While Prince William and Kate, Duchess of Cambridge, and Prince Harry and Meghan, Duchess of Sussex all received new royal titles on their wedding days, Eugenie and her husband did not. This is because the custom of gifting peerages to those in the royal bloodline when they get married only applies to men. Prince Charles, Prince Andrew, Prince William and Prince Harry were all given dukedom on their wedding day. This means their wives all became duchesses. When Prince Edward married, he was created the Earl of Wessex, reportedly because he asked for that title after watching the film Shakespeare in Love trademark and liking the sound of the title. His wife, Sophie, was made the Countess of Wessex. When Eugenie and her older sister Princess Beatrice married, they did not get new peerages. Instead, they took on their husband TMS surnames. Eugenie became Her Royal Highness Princess Eugenie, Mrs. Jack Brooksbank trademark, while Beatrice became Her Royal Highness Princess Beatrice, Mrs. Edardo Mopelli Mozzi trademark. A constitutional expert explained this stems from a historic custom. Ian McMahon told Express.co.uk last year, historically, a princess was married off to a foreign royal house to be used as a political pawn, normally as a means to cement foreign alliances or to further the national interest. These were arranged marriages of convenience, and were rarely love matches. The custom of marrying princesses off into foreign royal families, Mr. McMahon explained, meant they assumed the titles of their new royal husbands. However, this tradition was stopped following World War I. No British princess has married into a foreign royal family since. Mr. McMahon continued, prior to these changes, and given the historic nature of these past arrangements, there was never a custom of creating royal princesses in their own right. Additionally, given the patriarchal nature of the peerage, where creations were made, they have invariably only been given to men. Only a small handful of exceptions to this rule exist, and most are of ancient lineage. The historic custom was never updated, so princesses continued to take on their husband TMS surnames. Although, in some cases, if the groom was not of aristocratic stock, they were gifted peerages. Mr. McMahon explained, the Queen TMS sister Margaret, became the Countess of Snowdon when her husband was created the Earl. Both Princess Alexandra of Kent, and Princess Anne refused titles for their husbands and in consequence were also known as Mrs. Ogilvy and Mrs. Phillips respectively. Following the historic custom and the trends that have developed since 1917, it is no surprise that when Princesses Beatrice, and Eugenie married they only assumed their husband's surnames and were not made peeresses in their own right. Princess Anne and Captain Mark Phillips also declined an honorary title for the groom upon their marriage, meaning their children do not have titles. One exception to the rule of only given peerages to men is the Queen herself. Her Majesty is the Duke of Lancaster, as is every monarch. She is known as the Duke rather than Duchess, 
because she is the only who holds the title and rights, whereas a duchess is the spouse of a duke.